It seems as though every year a new video comes out of someone in the fitness industry tearing a muscle. Callum Von Moga, Larry Reels, Scott Mendelson, Hathorba Johnson and many, many, many more. It usually occurs when attempting a one rep max. However, there are also many examples of athletes tearing a muscle doing far less strenuous activities such as when Eddie Hall tore his bicep during a sparring session. So why do so many athletes in the fitness industry tear a muscle and what measures can be taken to prevent this happening to you? Before answering those questions, it's first important to look some anatomy. In this context, the term muscle tear is actually a misnomer, as it is not the muscle fibres themselves that are being torn, but rather the muscle tendon. As such, these tears are medically referred to as tendon ruptures. Tendons are bands of connective tissue that connect muscle to bone, not to be confused with ligaments which connect bone to bone. Tendons are composed of long cylindrical proteins called collagen fibres, which are banded together many times over. To get straight to the point, the reason why so many athletes in the fitness industry rupture their tendons is due to the use of anabolic steroids. The association between steroid use and tendon ruptures has well been documented in the literature, but what is the actual mechanism behind it? There are two mechanisms by which anabolic steroids increase your risk of tendon rupture. Firstly, steroids have been shown to weaken the tendon itself. A study was conducted in which mice were injected with methandienon, an anabolic steroid otherwise known by the brand name Dbol. The mice were then made to run on a treadmill five days per week for one to ten weeks. After this exercise period, a biopsy of their tendon was taken and analysed under a microscope. This study found that the tendons of mice who were given anabolic steroids and exercised displayed what's called collagen dysplasia. Dysplasia is Greek for abnormal formation. The image on the left is a picture of a normal tendon with the collagen fibres arranged in parallel rows. The image on the right is taken from a mouse given anabolic steroids and exercised. As you can see, the collagen fibres appear fragmented, irregular sized, cauliflower-like and frayed. The study also noted a fall in the volume fraction of collagen and significant changes in the fibril diameter. Overall, these changes mean the tendon itself is weaker and therefore less able to withstand the forces applied during heavy weight training. The second reason is due to muscle growth outpacing tendon growth. Unlike muscles, tendons have a very poor blood supply, therefore they receive far less oxygen and nutrients, meaning they grow at a significantly slower rate compared to muscles. This growth disparity is compounded when individuals take anabolic steroids, resulting in the athlete lifting more weight than their tendons could withstand. Overall, steroids have a double whammy effect. They both decrease the tendon's tensile strength while simultaneously increasing the force the tendon must withstand, resulting in a tendon rupture. So, the take-home advice if you want to minimise your risk of sustaining a tendon rupture is to apply slow, progressive overloads to your lifts, avoiding significant jumps in weight. I would also advise against performing one rep maxes, especially if you're an enhanced lifter.